The other day I was privileged to visit an organization in Israel called Hatzalah. Hatzalah is a volunteer emergency response organization. They are in major cities in North America, like Toronto, and New York, and Baltimore, and LA. But the big organization is really here in Israel. It's amazing. There are hundreds and hundreds of volunteers, people like you and people like me. Whether you're a photographer or a businessman or a student, you go through an intensive several month training and internship to learn how to be an EMT and how to work the system and be available literally to save lives. The call comes in and no matter where you are, whether it's Shabbat or it's a regular work day, and you drop everything and you run. And some people are in ambulances, some people are on scooters, and sometimes you're just walking in your neighborhood and that's where you are. They have this incredible uh, uh, system where I was there with all the computers. They don't call you to tell you, they just press a button they, and they know that and you get the call immediately. It's all very high tech. The response time is less than three minutes. Can you imagine? In less than three minutes, sometimes as, as little as 90 seconds, somebody's there to save somebody's life. And when it's life and death, every second counts. A regular ambulance service, you know, in your city and even in Israel, it could be 12 to 20 minutes before they get to you. They're on these scooters that can go around traffic, and it, it, it's really amazing. The people who I met there, who are the volunteers, they said they're obsessed. They're addicted. They get into it and they, they're obsessed and addicted to save lives. Can you imagine? How many times have you sat around complaining or blaming or whining about, oh, they don't do this right or they don't do that right? Well, a bunch of Jewish people got together and said, let's do it better. Why? Not to make money. Not to be famous. Not for the recognition to save lives. Hatzalah is definitely an organization to support. I was very impressed with their leader, their volunteers, their advanced high-tech system. And I thought, and I walked away, what can I do in my own organization to raise the bar, to do things even better, to ignite the people who are involved with us, to be obsessed, to save lives, whether it's physical or spiritual. There's so much on the line. I'm Lori, almost life.